Hello guys, I'm Ivan of Tabletop World and today I'm going to show you how I paint timber and plaster on Tabletop World models. If you missed our first tutorial on how to paint stone, be sure to check that out as well. With that out of the way, let's start painting. We will start by painting all of the plaster in Citadel Karak stone color. We will do this step pretty fast without worrying too much about messing up the timber because it will all get covered once we start painting it. In fact, it can even add to the visual interest of the timber. In the next step we will be dry brushing the plaster with Citadel Flade 1 flash color. Wipe off most of the paint onto the paper towel before applying it to the model. When applying the paint concentrate on the middle and move towards the edges. As you are getting closer to the timber the paint should lose its intensity. Now we will repeat the same process with Vallejo bone white color only this time concentrating even more on the middle areas. And finally we will use Vallejo Arctic White to really accentuate the plaster. Wipe off most of the paint and apply it to the middle areas. Be careful when working with white because you can easily overdo it. That's why I like to use dabbing motion, it gives me most control.
At this point we will move on to painting timber. We will get back to plaster later on. Paint the timber with watered down Vallejo charred brown color. The paint should be slightly transparent because we want the gray and brown to complement each other. This is the time to be precise, but if you do make mistake you can easily correct it with water. In the next step we will dry brush the timber with Citadel Karak stone color. Now we will paint the timber with watered down Vallejo NATO black color. Like with brown, we don't want to completely cover everything we've done so far. The idea is to have layers of paint complementing each other. And finally guys, we will do a very light dry brush with Karak stone again to slightly emphasize the wood grain. Do this step very gently. Now that we are done with timber, we will move on to the plaster again. Use smaller brush to apply water down NATO black alongside the timber. Using water, blend the paint towards the middle. You should constantly switch between paint and water to prevent paint from drying. You 
You can also apply some of the black color alongside the cracks. As you can see, once I load the brush with water, I like to press it onto the palette or any other surface to lose some of the water. I don't want it to be fully loaded because it might easily flood the model. And finally, we will be adding Citadel Atonian Camo Shade to really get that weathered look and make everything look organic. Use the paint directly from the pot and blend it with water as in previous step. And we are done guys, if you find value in these videos and would like us to do more, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and hit that bell icon to get notified each time we upload new content. In the next video we will be working on roof and windows, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.